Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Wow, 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 wow. What an amazing night of athletics. And the women's 100 meters was a cracker, a jaw dropper. No, walking away with the win. In this women's 100 meters was Julian Alfred. In second place was Crystal Slowly. And in third place was Sasha Lee Forbes. I'm going to let you take a look at the race. And then, of course, I'm going to get back with the rest of my thoughts. All right, so check it. That was the race. Julian Alfred came out and stormed to a meeting record, a national record, and a personal best. What me say? Meeting record, personal best, national record to dismantle, utterly destroy the field. Fantastic run from Julian Alfred. Actually, when I saw this race, it was the first time I felt confident in saying Julian Alfred is more than just a 60 meter specialist. No, don't get me wrong. Clearly, her personal best indicated a 10.8, indicated that she was much better than just 60 meters. But, you know, it never really looks like, even when she was running those races, that she was executing the best 100 meter race. But I can tell you that what happened at the Racers Grand Prix was literally Julian Alfred signaling her intent to the world that, hey, I am here. I'm more than just 60 meters. I can do a full 100 meter execution and challenge the best, not only over the start, but also over the finish. Um, the last part of my race, I think it's always been a struggle of mine where I can't really stay upright the last part of my race, but it's just going back to the drawing board and trying to just stay upright the last 40, 30 meters. It was an excellent race for Julian Alfred from start to finish. I was utterly shocked, plus also very, very impressed. Now, more on Julian Alfred in a bit. In second place was Crystal slowly in this race, as I said, and she dips below 11 seconds for the first time, continuing her impressive trend of improvement trackies and runs a 10.99 seconds. Awesome running from Crystal slowly. Awesome running. You know what? I, when I think about the first, you know, two athletes in this particular race, and maybe I can even say, you know, top three, right? Because Sasha Lee Forbes, you know, finished in um, third place running an 11.05, which is a season's best for her. But what I can really think about when I think about top three in this race is hard work. It's something my sister always used to say to me. Hard work trumps talent i remember in the earlier days of talking about you know julian alfred and you know the heights that she would reach and i remember when she was you know collegiate and she was doing well and my sister said this is the definition of what hard work means and it will always trump talent every single time and i've watched julian alfred literally go from somebody that you would have not considered being the most talented athlete in the sprints right in her age group for her generation go to being the absolute number one athlete in her age group coming out of you know what was the jamaican high school system back then the champs system and she's literally gone on to college and now has become the number one sprinter from that year group as i said and of course it was all down to julian alfred's hard work i always talk about how she looks her physical frame looks like you could grate some carrots on you know her abs you know that's so awesome um she looks um she's physically imposing and you can tell that she puts a lot of work in to make sure that she's able to, you know, um, be at this particular level in her craft and absolute congratulations to her. It's interesting as well. I did see a video of her recently um, after the Prefontaine Classic where she finished second um, running a 10.93, I believe. And she was asked, you know, what do you think about your placing? And she was like, well, it's fine for now. Take a listen. I'll take it, you know. I have to give God thanks, nevertheless, because I finished healthy. 
Um, I did want that wanted the win, but I'll take second for now. So yeah, that is what Julian Alfred had to say. And honestly, when I heard that, my only takeaway from that was Julian. Alfred is confident that she could have defeated a Shakiri Richardson. Julian Alfred was confident knowing that she could actually best Shakiri Richardson. She was not, you know, thinking, all right, yeah, um, Shakiri Richardson is in the race. I'll just settle for wherever, you know, second, I suppose, at the time. But track is no, she is um, letting the world know that, hey, I am here to take down everybody i am fearless and i think julian alfred has definitely put the world on notice and let the world know that hey i am here and i'm here for a medal at the olympic games and let me just tell you for some of y'all that don't think a 10.78 you know can land julian alfred on the middle table um first and foremost this is a 10.78 let's just start with the amount of athletes that can even run this time right so there's that plus two i'm hoping that some of y'all are not thinking that she's just going to stop at 10.78 um for this season right and there's also that plus she has the championship mindset championship mindset is the most important thing when you go to a championships you will always be able to deliver and julian alfred has that plus tax she's very very confident and not fearless even though she says sometimes that she's nervous she definitely does not show that in her execution at all so julian alfred really and truly for me is a medal threat anybody that is able to dip below 10.8 seconds in today's you know atmosphere of sprinting when you're looking at the girls that you know you contend for the medals they're all 10 sevens and faster you're looking at the marie jose Talouz, the shakiri richardson's the elaine thompson heroes the, the sharika jackson's the shelly and fraser prices they're all in 10 seven range or faster and julian alfred has joined that club and if she's in that club it means that she's part of the conversation for a medal at the olympic games and no one should ever underestimate her now crystal slowly you know to round out that hard work clearly also goes to utec and we see you know utec having a lot of our mvp or you know having a lot of talented um athletes there but crystal slowly is the one that is peeking her ahead out. Now, Chuck, is this pretty much reaffirms my thought process when I said that hard work a lot of times chumps talent. Sometimes you may be wondering why some athletes are not coming to the fore, right? The type of discipline that it takes to be the best in any event, in any sport, you have to be very, very, very hard working and focused on ensuring that you're doing your absolute best and crystal slowly looks to be the one that is doing everything that she needs to do and she's clearly getting those results at 10.99 seconds absolutely fantastic and not even the best start you know in the race but she certainly latched on to the back of Julian Alfred and kept powering away. And of course, as I said, ran that personal best 10.99 um, seconds. For Shasha Lee Forbes, you know, she's also coming back, as I said, from an injury. And she has started with a 11.11. And here we come here with an 11.05, showing her hunger and drive to make sure that she also is in the conversation when she heads to the Jamaican Championships. And that's something that I've always wanted to see out of Shasha Lee Forbes. And I thought, this season she was definitely showing me a lot of hunger and a lot of drive and she is literally continued you know on that path didn't get the best start as well but she definitely came back towards the end of the field track is and poured through for that second place 11.05 and i believe this was great running um from these athletes here so all right the track is let me know your thoughts now in the comment section below so this was a fantastic you know meeting overall and i still have a few more events that i need to cover so let me know your thoughts here on the women's 100 meters like the video, of course, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.